Widows is a new Steve McQueen uh, movie. It's co-written by Gillian Flynn. Uh, I've seen a lot of uh, movies by uh, Steve McQueen. I've seen Hunger and Shame and uh, 12 Years a Slave. So he doesn't make feel-good movies, but uh, the concept of this movie and the 92% uh, fr certified fresh and Rotten tomatoes got me interested, as well as the cast. So this movie is about a professional bank, or not bank, um, but they're a crew of thieves. Um, and, they, and the opening sequence introduces all of them and has an amazing thrilling sequence. However, it goes wrong and they get killed. That's not a spoiler because the movie is called Widows. It's not called bank, or they're not called thieving crew gets caught by the police. It's called Widows. So the Widows, there's the Veronica Rawlings. She is the wife of the main guy, played by Liam Neeson. She has a gangster breathing down her neck because uh, her husband, her late husband, sold, uh, stole from him. And he wants to become a politician. He's going up against uh, Colin Farrell. So there's a whole political sort of um, subplot going behind the scenes. And uh, this gangster, Jamal um, Manning, wants to get the money back for his campaign. So Veronica contacts the other widows of her crew. There's Amanda, the mother of two, Latina. There's also um, Alice, she's the Polish uh, girl who sort of like was abused by her um, husband as well. And she's a little bit helpless. And then there's one more with a baby. So she wants to use Harry's uh, old school notebook to plan the next heist so they can pay off the Manning brothers and then split the rest because they all need money. So this movie has wonderful performances. Viola Davis is such a, such a cool range. She can play tough. She can play um, sort of vulnerable, but she doesn't show that to the others. Uh, Michelle Rodriguez plays Amanda. She has one really great scene, but that's about it. Um, I think the one who stole the show out of all the women would be Alice, played by Elizabeth Debicki. She is a sort of, you get one scene with her mother and that pretty much sets up like how she's been treated her entire life. But she has the biggest arc and the most interesting character out of all of them, I think. As for the others, uh, Colin Farrell has one really good scene, but it's off screen for some reason, but still interesting performance. As well as Daniel Kaluuya. He is so good in this movie. Such a magnetic screen performance. He's so intimidating. He's just, there's, he's just nothing but him staring, but it's just such a good performance. He's got a good career ahead of him if he can get more roles like this. He plays a great villain. Um, everyone else is kind of underutilized. Robert Duvall is, okay, let me get into the next point. The movie has really good acting and performances. Um, so these people feel real. I really like that aspect. However, on the flip side, there are characters that exist and they seem like caricatures. Like uh, Jackie Weaver plays Alice's mom. She's just there for less than five minutes, but she's only there to like sort of just tell you about Alice. And then there's also Robert Duvall's character who's just like a racist. He has like very little dimension. Some of the other characters are underutilized like Jamal Manning as well. He doesn't have like a finishing arc for his story. Um, besides the, the good acting, uh, the movie isn't that great though. Uh, the concept is that the widows have to pull off uh, a job because no one thinks that they'll be able to do it. And getting there is, is an enjoyable, you know, time. However, the heist itself isn't that suspenseful. The story tries to throw a curveball at you near the end. It doesn't really quite work. And the movie just sort of feels a little bit anticlimactic. It's just, it feels almost like they didn't try to build up to anything big. It's just sort of like, oh, it happened and that's it. Eh, the movie's over. And um, so the movie does have like a great sort of grittiness to it. Like the, the violence and the, uh, the world, the whole, you know, Harry Rawlings had like all these connections, you know, like with the bowling alley guy who, who, who like offers him stuff and there's like the notebook and things like that. And the acting's really great from pretty much most of the cast. So the Widows does have some great elements, but it doesn't quite fit them all together into a satisfying picture. So uh, Widows, I give it a six and a half out of 10.